Let's hear seven bullets fired by a Kenosha police officer paralyzed Jacob Blake. Shooting of a black man by a white police officer triggered protests and deadly riots. WGN's Patrick Elwood reports from Kenosha. It was one year ago today, the afternoon of August 23rd, when Kenosha police responded to a 911 call, a domestic disturbance. When they arrived, Jacob Blake Jr., who had just placed his child in a car, and police would meet. A chaotic encounter with responding officers would follow. Today, his father, Jacob Blake Sr., has put his faith in God for better days to come. You sometimes question humanity, but you can never question your creator. As Blake leaned into his SUV, Officer Rustin Shesky would shoot him seven times in the back, leaving him paralyzed from the waist down. Shesky has said he believed the child was being kidnapped by Blake at the time because he heard a woman screaming, he has my keys, he has my child. In the days that followed, Kenosha streets became a powder keg of civil unrest, which led to looting by some in the aftermath of what was considered another unjustified shooting of a black person by police. By phone today, we spoke to Blake's father from Chicago. It's so you get up and you ask God to take the wheel. Loving, caring, fatherly, hardworking. And his uncle Justin, in person who now lives in Kenosha too. And whenever you have to uh, engage with him, you're always trying to make sure you're prepared. You don't want to let him down. He's our hero. This guy gets up and goes to therapy and give it all he has while a knife is being turned in his lower back. He's in a tremendous amount of pain 90% of the day, every day. Officer Shesky has returned to work after Kenosha prosecutors decided not to charge him criminally in this matter. The Blakes are holding out hope that federal charges may be filed one day. We packed a big bag of lunch and we're here for the long haul. And by their somewhat mutual experiences, they have grown close to the families of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor. The families also share the same civil rights attorney. I hold out faith that God will do what needs to be done. I hold out faith and I'm very thankful that my son can answer the phone when I call, that I can hear his voice, that I can feel um, the skin on his face touch the skin on the side of my face. The primary reason that local prosecutors cited for not charging the officer was because Blake Jr. was holding a knife at the time. In a related note, Kyle Rittenhouse was 17 at the time from Antioch, now 18, and part of a so-called citizen's patrol. He is set to go on trial in November. He's charged with killing two people here in downtown Kenosha. Reporting tonight from Kenosha, Patrick Elwood, WGN News. Evacuation in 